Hi, I'm Emmy Hall. Welcome to today's episode where I'm here in a, oh, please don't let it rain, at the Barber Motorsports Park out in Alabama. Now, Barber Motorsports Park also has an awesome vintage museum. We've got the sign right back here. So if you haven't had a chance to check it out, you should. But the story I'm here for is this, the 2013 Porsche Boxster S. Now, this has been on my top 10 list for forever, so I'm so happy to be able to get into this car. Now, this is just our first drive, okay? So we'll get you a track video, we'll get you some driving impressions, talk to a couple executives, and then we will get you a full review when we get the car for a week. There's a couple of styling notes that I do want to point out here on the Boxster. First of all, this sideline is taken from the Carrera GT and it's fantastic. I really love these air scoops on the side. Also, the story here in the back are about this integrated spoiler that goes right into these LED taillights. It certainly is distinctive and it really lets everybody know that you are out there in a Porsche Boxster. So Porsche has given us the PDK transmission to test out. Now, those of you who know me know that I love, love, love my manuals, but I will have to say, if you're gonna go with a dual clutch transmission, the PDK is the one that you want. Um, shifts are super, super amazingly quick. Now, everything is operated here on the steering wheel. There's no paddles. There's actually buttons on the steering wheel where if you're gonna um, upshift, it's just right there on the top. If you wanna downshift, it's right there on the back. Of course, I'm dying to drive the manual, but for right now, I do like this PDK. So the Boxster S has got a 3.4 liter six cylinder engine, which produces 315 horsepower, which is five more than last year, and 266 pound feet of torque. What's fantastic is this car will get about 30 miles per gallon out on the highway. And a couple of ways that they were able to do that is a start stop technology. So when I stop the car completely, the engine will cut off and then, there it goes. And then as soon as I lift my foot off the brake, it starts back up again. So that really, really does help in your fuel consumption. It's a little strange at first when it happens, <laughs> but if I know that I'm gonna be able to have a car of this kind of performance and still be able to get 30 miles per gallon in this, um, out on the highway, I mean, I'll take it. Porsche has gone from a hydraulic power steering from last year to this new electromechanical power steering. Now, I know that a lot of people have had some issues with it saying that they don't feel like it's on center or they don't feel like they're getting a lot of feedback, but. We're just kind of doinking around here on these roads around the, the track, and it does weight up nicely in the corners, which is great. Um, I think that they've got a big hit on their hands with the steering. Now, Porsche has been able to keep the weight of this car down to under 3,000 pounds, which is really, really amazing. So even though that there's a lot of improvement in the drivetrain and the PDK transmission does weigh a little bit more, they were able to get that weight down um, because they've used a lot of aluminum in the construction of this body. But they've also been able to keep the chassis about 40% stiffer. So what that means is you're really going to be able to really throw it through some curves here, which we can do right now, even in the rain. I feel very confident that this car is um, is really gonna stick it. Now, I am in this rear wheel drive sports car and it is raining a little bit. Its roads are a little slick, but honestly, I mean, I'm not sliding around at all. Granted, I'm not going too fast, but it's great fun. <laughs> so the cockpit here in the uh, Boxster S really is a driver-oriented cockpit, and I feel like I'm I don't feel like I'm sitting in it, I feel like I'm wearing it and I love it. I just adore small cars where everything is right in reach, there's nothing, there's no back seat for me to be <laughs> messing around with. I just love two-seater Roadster convertibles. Um, I also, of course, since I just mentioned I love convertibles, uh, this top will go up and down in nine seconds and you can do that at speeds of up to 31 miles an hour. I'm not really sure that I want to try that at 31 miles an hour, but it's kind of cool that you can do it in traffic. Uh, also, the road noise in this car, it was a little loud in the rain when it was raining really hard earlier, but for right now, now that we've got um, less rain, it's nice and quiet for a convertible. I'm here with Florian. He is the manager of the steering development at Porsche, and this year this Boxster's got a new steering system, am I correct? That's absolutely correct. Uh, it's a brand new uh, system. It's an electric uh, power assisted steering, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, a power on demand system. That means the electric motor only operates and takes up energy when you actually need the assistance. I love my steering a little heavy and uh -huh. it just weights up so nicely and you really feel like you're connected to the road and you feel everything, yeah. the, everything in the pavement. You, it's got, yeah. you get a lot of feedback in this steering. So I for one was pretty happy with it. 
That's that's good to hear. I, I'm, I'm glad you say that. Uh, that was really one of our main goals, and uh, one of our, of our key competences, really, in the past and, and and also on this car, is to to get the Porsche steering feel. Mm -hmm. And th this is exactly what you described. Uh, we we want to make sure that you get the, the the necessary information from the road to drive the car quickly and to drive it uh, with confidence. Uh, but uh, we don't want to uh, let through all the unpleasant kickback. And the, and the thing that uh, doesn't make things com comfortable. Exactly. Well, we certainly did have a great time out here, so I appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Okay. Thanks. I'm here with Hurley Haywood. He is the chief driving instructor here at the Porsche Driving School, among many other things. And um, we're about to get this car out on the track, so what do I need to know to get this car around the track in the shortest amount of time possible? I, I, vision, I think. Vision training, training your eyes to do the right thing. Your eyes tell your hands and feet what to do. So you got to be looking at the right thing to instruct the car to make the right move. So it's cool that I like play a lot of video games? Video helps. <laughs> now, if you guys don't know who Hurley is, you need to Google him. He's a fantastic racer. He's run, won all kinds of 24 hours of Le Mans. What else? You've got um, Daytona. He's like, he's the bomb, y'all. But I got to know, as a race car driver, what's your daily driver? I, of Porsche, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so he drives a Porsche to work, and then he drives Porsches at work. That's awesome. Thanks so much for your time, Hurley. I appreciate it. Thank you. So I know many of you would like to know, would I personally buy this car? And the answer is, oh my god, yes. <laughs> this car fits every requirement that I have as a daily driver. Two-seater, rear-wheel drive, and it's convertible. Also offered in a manual, although like I said before, the PDK is pretty damn cool. Of course, Charlie's gonna have to give me just a little bit of a raise. This car starts at about $49,500 and optioned up, it'll be at about 61 grand. But this car's got a lot more sporty driving qualities than it did last year. It gets better fuel economy and better everyday driving qualities as well. So it's raining a little bit. We're hoping to get this car out on the track. That'll be a whole separate video, so please be sure to check that out. But for right now, I'm Emmy Hall saying, hey, you want some behind the scenes look? Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. That's it for today, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Go to my TV. <laughs> July 5th. It suddenly got really hot in here. Okay,